if you appreciate finding a good cocktail or the city's coolest bars when you travel, then I'm going to tell you about some of the lesser known bars you should definitely visit while you're in London to have a really good drink and also a good time. Okay, so there are two restaurants called Aqua Kyoto and Aqua Nueva, and they're located just off of Oxford Circus. But even though they're located in the city's busiest area, a lot of people don't know about them because they're situated quite a few floors up at the top of their building. They're both absolutely stunning restaurants. One serves Japanese food, one serves Spanish food. You can probably guess which serves which, but they both also have rooftop bars that you can visit and have a really beautiful cocktail on. By the way, when you go, if John Luca is bartending, make sure you tell him that I sent you and ask him for his expert recommendation. He'll make you a really good cocktail. Also, if you're visiting when it's not warm, you can still go out onto the rooftop bars because they have heaters and things to help you keep warm. Or if you just find that it's absolutely not gonna be okay to go outside, just go to the bar that's inside that is called Aqua Spirit. Milroy's is a whiskey bar that's located in Soho. And if you like whiskey, you absolutely need to visit here. The bartenders are whiskey experts and they have every type of whiskey that you might possibly want to try. My favorite part, however, because I'm not a huge whiskey fan, is the vault. So the vault you can only access by going to the back of Milroy's and pushing the bookcase back and you'll see a sign pointing you downstairs into a very small cocktail bar where you can have some fantastic cocktails and I would definitely recommend asking for a recommendation at this bar. So if you head to Southwest London to an area that's called Balham, there's a pub that's called the Bedford. And it's a good pub. You can get a Sunday roast or a nice pub lunch there. Obviously have a few drinks. But the best part about the Bedford, in my opinion, is the comedy club that's inside. And on Saturdays, you can go and see a comedy show for just 15 pounds. And they always have really, really funny comedians. It's a really good fun night out. If sitting in a bar or a pub and just drinking and not doing anything else sounds really boring to you, then I definitely recommend that you head to Roof East in Stratford. This is an outdoor bar that's on the top of an old car park. And they not only have lots of drinks and food options there, but there are tons of activities for you to do. You can play cornhole, you can do mini golf, they even have batting cages and uh, VR foosball, which they call, I think they call it footy here. So there's lots of stuff to do while you are getting drunk. Okay, this one isn't just one spot. This is actually an area and it's called the Bermondsey Beer Mile. And the Bermondsey Beer Mile, if you have a Saturday free, is great to go to because it is essentially a bunch of breweries and distilleries that are located under the railway arches. And you can hop around and do a bunch of different tastings and try a ton of different locally brewed and distilled beers and gins. I recommend definitely going on Saturday afternoon as that's when most of the places are going to be open. You can try to go on other days as well, but not everything will be open. Also, you can grab some food at Malfi Street Market, which is right next door. Whenever I'm in Notting Hill, I always pop into the distillery for a drink. It's actually a working gin distillery. They distill a bunch of their gins just downstairs. On top of being a bar and a restaurant, they also have the Gin Institute, which is where you can do a gin masterclass. There's even a boutique hotel all the way at the top of the building. And there's a bottle shop where you can pick up a souvenir bottle of gin to take home with you. This is actually a spot that's mentioned in my video about alternative souvenirs to get while you visit London, which you can watch by clicking the box that's popping up right below me. If you appreciate finding, nope. if you appreciate finding a good cock, I just wish all dogs would come over and say, oh, look at that little one coming. Oh.